All right, some of you may be wondering how we arrange for the sink to be here next uh, attached to the camper, as well as a table, a uh, little table that I made here. And what we did was, is we have, for the sink we have a bracket just like this one. And we have, what I did was I bought on Amazon a, a bracket, a longer bracket, so that we can separate the two, so the sink is separate from the table. Now to put it here is I want you to um, bolt it down, not bolt it down, I just put screws here and put silicone and all you do is let it sit right there next to the next to the sink. So as you can see this worked really well. We have a sink, even though it's small it works pretty well. We get able to do all the dishes that we want to do. And we have the little table we can put the stuff that we're going to wash or things that we want to sit here. We could put anything here. And it has a great use and it's attached to the camper. Now the, the sink, the sink has, we put this here so that the water goes into this bottle. And we have, I made this arrangement here with the hose so that it makes it easy to, to attach the sink. I just added this hose here and then I attached the hose, the long hose right over here. And it works great. And here it goes. That's it folks. Here's Gloria doing the dishes after a really nice meal that we enjoyed. And here's our little sink that we should do in the dishes that's attached to a teardrop. Look at my hubby. He's such a great helper doing my dishes. He I'm just finished helping, it. I'm helping you. I know you want to appreciate that. <laughs> Every little helps. Mm -hmm. I love the little sink makes a difference yeah thank you for that and that little table you make yeah, for me table. as well thank you okay i'm going to install the tv in a in a way that it won't take up too much space put it here put in a dvd uh, just to create a space here put it here make sure it's straight Swing back and forth. The first hole. All right. We can put this in. Provision. As you open it. It's attached to this area here against the wall so that I can maneuver it to come all the way out. This has an opening for the DVD uh, videos. And I can also turn it all the way, open this in the back, and we can watch TV from the outside. Once I'm finished, I push it in and we're all set. In order to create more space for my, my teardrop, I purchased a tongue storage box to be placed in the tongue of the teardrop. The good thing about this is that it already has, um, as you can see, there's enough holes in the center of the tongue. So that grid, so I can actually, instead of having to make holes on the tongue, I can use the uh, grid to attach the box to this specific location right in front and that will give me plenty more storage space
I'm gonna use these washers and the nuts and bolts to attach the tongue box, storage box, onto the tongue of the camper. of room in the back so that I can open the cover of the storage box without a problem. This is the inside the box after I added the nuts and bolts in four strategic areas. I also drilled five additional holes for ventilation. Well, now it's time to load it, now that it's nice and tight. Load all the stuff I want to put in there.
have plenty of space. fun and now I got plenty of storage on the side of the camper and on the tongue now not in the box tongue storage box you can purchase them almost anywhere I purchased this one on Amazon 